Another of the many advanced settings in GarageBand is the setting feature shown by this little wrench in the upper right hand corner. This will allow you to um, set up the song so that it can suit your instrument needs. For instance, if there's a student who has a flute piece or a recorder or maybe guitar solo that they want to pre-record, you can go in here, have them figure out what their tempo is by playing along with it a couple times at beat for your eight measures, and then you might have to change it to the different key. The auto set key signature is C major here, but you can change that and adjust it to whatever key you need. So if your guitarist or flute player is playing a piece in the key of G, for instance, you just come here and you tap that. Now all of your smart guitar, smart bass, all of your smart chord instruments that we've talked about in the previous um, videos are now changed to the key of D. Subsequently, anything that you've recorded already it will try to change that as well, and that typically doesn't work well. So, knowing what your students want to do with this, especially in the more advanced settings, before you get too far in depth, is really gonna help you with getting the settings down. So when your setting is set, you go in and you start recording by using the microphone or using guitar amp or whatever microphone-based or direct line in based app of GarageBand that you need to complete your sound.